In a stereographic projection, a pole is a point which represents a direction in a space. So the center of the primitive circle itself is a point and it represents the vertical direction. All points of the primitive circle also represent directions. They represent horizontal directions. A more general inclined direction will project as a point inside the primitive. So P is a pole of an inclined direction. Now every direction will also have an opposite direction, a direction which is 180 degree away from a given direction. The pole of 180 degree away direction is called the opposite pole of the given pole. So that's the definition of the opposite pole. The point representing the projection of a direction 180 degree away from the direction represented by a given pole. So here this pole is representing a direction. We want to find out where will a direction 180 degree away from this direction project. What is its opposite pole? So let us try to find that. To find that, we first draw a diameter through P, diameter of the primitive through P. So that's easy. We join P and O, and I have extended it beyond B. We will see why. Now, since AB, the diameter passing through P, represents a plane, in this case a vertical plane passing through P, the opposite of the direction P will also lie on this plane. And opposite pole of a pole inside the primitive will project outside the primitive. So that's the reason we have extended the diameter. So opposite of pole P will lie on this diameter and will come beyond B somewhere. To find where exactly it comes, we now draw the perpendicular diameter CD and we join CP and extend it to meet the circumference of the primitive circle at M. Now from M, I draw another diameter of the primitive circle with M prime as the diametrically opposite point. We join C to M prime and extend it to intersect the diameter through AB at P prime. P prime is the pole opposite to P. P prime represents a direction which is 180 degree away from the direction represented by P. The proof of this is in realization that if we rotate this primitive circle about the diameter AB by 90 degree such that C coincides with the south pole, then P simply represents the projection, the stereographic projection of the direction OM and P prime represents the stereographic projection of 180 degree away direction O M prime. Thus, P prime is the opposite pole of P. Note that the angle, angle M C M prime, this angle is a right angle, is 90 degree because it's an angle subtended by the diameter M M prime of the primitive on the circumference of the primitive. So, angle subtended by a diameter on the circumference of a circle is always 90 degree. So MC M prime is a 90 degree angle. Once we note this, we can simplify the construction. We don't really need to construct this diameter MM prime. Once we have found the direction CP, we just go perpendicular to that to find P prime as intersection of AB and CP prime. So we saw this simplified construction here. So we construct the first diameter AB and then 
the orthogonal diameter CD, we join CP and then we draw perpendicular to CP to meet the diameter AB at P prime. So P prime is the opposite pole of P. We can also find P prime by an algebraic method using our familiar distance angle relation. So if we measure the distance OP, let us say that is x, then we can find the angle of inclination of P with respect to the vertical. Let us call that theta and we know the relation x is equal to r tan theta by 2 where r is the radius of the primitive. We can easily find theta by inverting this relation and so we know the angle of inclination of P from O. Now P prime is inclined 180 degree to P. So we find an angle phi which is 180 minus theta. So if I now go this is PO is th uh, theta and if I go 180 minus theta from O further down so then P to P prime will be 180 degree. So to locate this P prime now I have to find the distance of a point which is inclined at 180 degree minus theta to O. This is easily done again by using the same relationship the angle distance relationship. So I take r tan phi by 2 which turns out to be r cot theta by 2 because of phi being 180 minus theta. So I know now y and I can go a distance y from O to locate P prime. So O P prime is y and I am able to locate P prime. If the pole P happens to lie on the primitive itself then you are lucky. You don't need any of those construction or analysis. All that you need is to draw the diameter through P. The diametrically opposite point P prime is the opposite pole of P. This is simple to see because P lying on the primitive is a horizontal direction. So opposite direction will also be horizontal and thus will lie on the primitive. But P also lie on this vertical plane through PO. So P prime will also lie on this vertical plane. So P prime lies on the intersection of the diameter through P and the primitive circle. So it has to be the diametrically opposite point P prime. Thank you very much.